friends, I'm Brittany. Welcome to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're with us today because we are in our last week of talking about Moses and the amazing things God did in his life. Moses tried to follow God's rules and do things that made God happy. That reminds me of today's big idea, which is when I don't know what's right, I can follow God's rules. Now say that with me on three. Ready? One, two, three. When I don't know what's right, I can follow God's rules. Great job! We can follow God's rules because He loves us so much. He knows what's best for us, and God's love makes us brave. There's a song that tells us about that. Let's stand up and sing it together. This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're going to start by singing, No, I won't be afraid, for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me, you are right beside me every day, even when it feels like everything's going wrong, I can look up to you, God, and find my strength. All right, sing some O's. job singing and dancing, everyone. Whenever we hear that song, we can remember that God helps us be brave. God was with Moses and helped him to be brave and do what was right. And God can help us do what is right too. Now I want to show you something very special. Do you know what this is? That's right, this is a Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that teaches us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. The story I want to show you from the Bible today is the story of Moses in the wilderness. Ooh, I wonder what's going to happen in the wilderness. 
We're going to watch our Bible story, and I want you to listen carefully and see if you can find how many big rules God gave to Moses in the wilderness. They're called commandments. Let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch this Bible story to find out. Stories of the Bible. Moses in the wilderness. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake uh -oh. and fled Egypt uh -oh. to live with the Midianites. Uh. But God called Moses back to Egypt ah. to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Huh? God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey. Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. What's that? And each night God gave them meat. The people were still thirsty, and they were mad at Moses, saying, Did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. That was a great story. Did you find out how many big rules or commandments God gave Moses? Tell me your answer on three. One, two, three. It was 10 commandments. God rules helped Moses and the Israelites know what was right while they waited in the wilderness. One of the people in the wilderness with Moses was his brother Aaron. And sometimes Aaron needed God's help to know what was right too. Let's draw a picture of Aaron right now to remember that when we don't know what's right, we can always follow God's rules. Grab some paper and some crayons or markers because it's color time with Gus. It's me, Gus! Today, we're drawing a man named Aaron from our Bible story. Let's get started. First, let's start with his hair. Draw a nice, swoopy line right across the top of your paper. Then, go up like you're going to connect it in a football shape. But before you do, move your marker up into a little shark fin shape like this and back down to connect the lines. Yeah! Now, right where you left off, 
draw a long line with a bitty, bitty bit of curve down to the middle of the page. Just like that. And do the same thing on the other side to make his face. Okay, we'll add an ear right here, almost like a circle on his left side. Then a short line straight down underneath. And one right here on the other side too. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part. Right here on this side, draw a bump and turn it into a little curl like this. Oh yeah, now let's do two more of those right next to it. And two curls, that makes three. Whew. I'm dizzy from all that going round and round. Okay, next we'll do Aaron's nose. So go back toward the top of your page and find the middle right under his hair. We'll draw two short lines right next to each other like this. One long and one shorter. Now on the short line, add an even shorter little line sticking out to the side. Connect those with a curve all the way around. Look, it's a nose! Okay, let's add two circles for his eyes. One, and two. Then put smaller circles inside and fill those in. Here, and here. Now we need two little lines on top of his eyes going across to make eyebrows. Now, Aaron is a little bit older, so underneath his eyes, we're gonna add some wrinkles. Kinda like the little eyebrow lines you drew, but on the bottom. Yeah! Now we'll finish up his hair with a curved line along the left side of his face like this. Uh-huh. And now we get to add the mustache. Oh, I love this part. Now draw a line going out and curve down on each side of the nose. Here and here. Now we'll do a bunch of little U shapes around to connect the two lines and make a mustache. How's yours looking? Wow, that looks great. Let's draw his beard with a short line here from the ear to the mustache over on the right side between his mustache and face if you have room. Let's finish up with a boat shape right under his mustache and fill those in. There you go, you drew Aaron. Great job, bye friends. <laughs> Great job coloring Aaron. Aaron was Moses' brother who needed God's help to know what was right. He tried to follow God's rules in the Bible. And we can follow God's rules in the Bible too. Sometimes it can be hard to know what the right thing to do is. Aaron didn't always do the right thing, but God can show us what is right when we talk to him and read the Bible. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible. But wait, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them so we can see our Bible verse? Let's grab your bubbles and pop together. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait! That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! All right, all right! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready, go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, 
job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look what you did. We can see our Bible verse now. Let's read it together. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1.7. That verse reminds me of how God is always with us and helps us be brave and strong. He also helps us know what is right and gives us rules to follow in the Bible. Let's stand up and sing our Bible verse song together right now. This song is 2 Timothy 1.7. You guys, let me see you moving around like this. We're going to sing out this verse that says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Let's sing it out together. Great job, everyone. Sometimes it can be hard to do what is right, but God helps us be brave and choose the right thing. He helps us by giving us rules in the Bible to follow. We can also know what is right when we talk to God or talk to a parent or adult who loves God about what the right choice is. Anytime we try to do the right thing and follow God's rules, God is happy. That reminds me, our friends Joey and Bog are hanging out with a new reptile today and they made a special list of rules to help take care of it. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch this week's reptile report to find out what the special animal of today is. Hey, I'm Joey. And I'm Bog. Welcome to the Scuppeton Reptile Reserve. Yeah, and today we are taking care of the bearded dragon. And this guy's name is Beardo. I like this guy. He kind of looks like me. <laughs> I can see that a little bit. And you know what? He's called a bearded dragon because he can make his throat really big when he's threatened. It kind of looks like a beard. Hmm. Nice. I should have Beardo teach Gus how to do that. So, how do we take care of Beardo? Well, you know, I made a list. And it's a list of rules on how to take care of him. Oh, nice. You made a list, kind of like a recipe for pie. Very easy to follow. Exactly. And you know, I got the idea from the story about Moses in the Bible. Oh, the guy in the Bible we've been learning about. Yeah, exactly. I mean, God gave Moses a set of special rules just like mine called the Ten Commandments to follow. And Moses shared those with the Israelites and with us. Now, what's cool about the Ten Commandments is that they give us an idea of what we should do when we don't know what to do. Kind of like how I don't know what kind of food Beardo likes. I can just follow the rules and figure it out. Exactly. I mean, when we don't know what's right, we can follow God's rules. So, let's say you really want something that's not yours. What do you do? Uh, I don't know. Well, God's rules say that we should be happy with what we have, and that we shouldn't take what's not ours. Oh, 
what if I broke something? And since I don't want to get in trouble, I want to say I didn't do it. Okay, well, I, I get that, but God's rules say that we should always tell the truth. So I would be honest even if it means getting in trouble. Yeah, exactly. I mean, God's rules are great because they let us know what to do when we don't know what to do. I guess it's good to know what the right thing to do is, but sometimes that's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, I know what you mean, Bog. I mean, it's hard to follow God's rules sometimes. I mean, especially when we really want to do something different, but we don't have to do it alone. I mean, God will help us follow his rules. And even when we don't follow God's rules, he will still love us and always forgive us when we ask him to. That's good. I mean, I'm going to try, but I know I do the wrong thing sometimes. Hey, me too. And friends, remember that when you don't know what's right, you can follow God's rules. Now, rule number one for our bearded dragon is to feed him. So we got to get him some crickets. And remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let's get <laughs> some crickets. Okay. Oh my goodness, that bearded dragon was so cool. Since it's such a special reptile, Joey needed to write down a list of all the special rules to follow so that they could take care of the bearded dragon. That reminds me of the rules that God gave to Moses called the Ten Commandments. Moses wrote down the rules that came from God so that the Israelites could follow God's rules when they didn't know what was right. God can always help us know what is right, and we can read his rules in the Bible. But remember, we all do the wrong thing sometimes. Even Moses did the wrong thing sometimes. But God will forgive us when we ask him to. He will love you no matter what you do. How cool is that? Let's talk to God right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me rules that help me choose what is right so that I can do the amazing things you have planned for me. I love you so much, amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have had so much fun with you. And don't forget to have a grown up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about Moses. And we would love to see you in person too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. Now let's say our big idea one more time. When I don't know what's right, I can follow God's rules. Ready? One, two, three. When I don't know what's right, I can follow God's rules. Great job. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.